This product right here is pure. The statements expressed in this video are my opinions. Any statements made in a factual way are hyperbolic or satirical. I am not a doctor and do not claim to give useful medical advice. You should not be seeking medical advice from YouTube, which is full of crazy assholes and idiots. If you have any questions about your own need for supplemental oxygen therapy, you should consult a licensed physician. I'm also not an expert on random cans of gas. It is possible that makers boost oxygen are very nice people and are not scam artists at all. I have no factual knowledge of the motives one way or the other, only opinions based on my own observations. Bullshit. Boost O2. There's a lot of products like this out there. Um, it's basically just oxygen in a can, which, if you didn't know, is literally a joke from Spaceballs. President Scrooge. Ah. Yes. And that's pretty much exactly what this is. It's a can of oxygen. Now, to get an idea of why people would want to buy this, let me read from this can. Oxygen directly fuels 90% of all body and mind functions. Okay. The average oxygen level in the air is 21%. At sea level, true. Boost oxygen is 95% pure. Professional athletes inhale supplemental oxygen. So basically, what they're implying here is that athletes use this, which is just oxygen, to what? Well, the manufacturer has something to say about that on their website. They go into a little more depth than what's on the can. Oxygen is the source of life. Well, I mean, there are multiple sources of life, but sure. Much more important and vital than water or food, most humans can't live without it for more than five minutes. Well, it's not more important than water and food, because without water and food you'll still die eventually, so they're kind of all important. But clearly they're trying to sell this to you, so I can see why they'd say that. Blah 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 blah. Oxygen is great for you. Well, yes, it is one of the sources of life, so one would assume that it is great for you. But where can you readily purchase better and more nutritious food and hydrate with better liquids? Purchasing purified oxygen in a practical manner has been virtually impossible until boost oxygen. Let's just talk about that for a second. Purchasing oxygen in a practical manner. Well, you can already fucking do that if you actually need oxygen. You see, if you're prescribed medical grade oxygen, you get something like this. A little bigger than our boost can here. And something like this. Either a mask that really lets you suck it down, or the old uh, Godfather Sopranos type testifying in court nose thing. So what's the difference between all this stuff and our boost oxygen here? This can right here, which on the top says, oxygen is weightless, full can is very light. Well, oxygen is weightless, sure. But one of the points of something like this is that the oxygen is compressed. And when you start compressing oxygen into a smaller volume, it in fact has weight at one atmosphere, which is to say at sea level. The thing is, when this tank is, and now this is much heavier because this tank's made of thick steel, but even when this tank's empty, you can tell that it's empty by lifting it up because there's a hell of a lot more oxygen in this tank because they compress it to a much higher pressure than this. How, how much more oxygen is in this tank than this little can? Well, this looks significantly bigger, right? I mean, maybe it's five, ten times as big. Well, this is compressed to 2,000 PSI. Whereas this, well, they don't say what it's compressed to. You could calculate it because this apparently contains six liters of oxygen. Sounds like a lot, right? I mean, six liters of water is a lot of water. So it seems fairly efficient. Well, this canister right here contains nearly 700 liters of oxygen. It's actually a bit less, 
but just for round numbers, 700 liters in this compared to six liters in this. Well, how much do you pay for each of these cans of oxygen? This right here runs for about 10 bucks. This, remember, it's a hundred times more oxygen in here. So you think maybe it should cost a hundred times more. So this should cost $900, right? Well, maybe you're buying it in bulk. Maybe it only costs $450. No? Think it's less? Well, yeah. The canister itself is reusable, which in this it's not. So let's take that out of the equation. In fact, this canister right here, I got at a thrift shop for $10 just for the purpose of demonstrating it in this video. That's how cheap it is. It's not even expired. You could still refill this with oxygen. So that would cost you, just the refill, $35. $35 for almost 700 liters of oxygen compared to $10 for six liters of oxygen. That's, ten, that's a hundred, I keep trying to say 10 times because that would almost be excusable but for a hundred times the oxygen, you only pay a little over three times the price. So this is bullshit right off the bat, just based on value for money, not even referring to any of their health or well-being or sports performance claims, just on the basis of what you're paying for a simple oxygen. This is so much cheaper than this. So you're getting ripped off if you buy this. Now, I know you can only get one of these technically with a prescription. I probably wasn't supposed to buy it at the thrift shop. They probably weren't supposed to sell it at the thrift shop, but that's what happened. It's actually full. I'm not saying you should go out and buy oxygen illegally without a prescription, but my point is that if you did have a medical need for oxygen, you probably already know because you're probably already on medical oxygen. As might have been mentioned earlier, I'm not a doctor. But there are doctors on the internet. There are scientists on the internet that have done actual studies, scientific studies that have been published in legitimate journals, like the Journal of the American Medical Association. And there's also numerous studies published on the National Institute of Health website, neither of which are fly-by-night BS sources. And let's just say that all of them agree that for healthy people, like the athletes earlier talked about on this stupid can, for healthy people like athletes, supplemental oxygen actually has no benefit. Now, some studies found a tiny bit of benefit, but by tiny, I mean the most minuscule benefit that you could possibly imagine, which would not even be worth $10. And by the way, those athletes in those studies were sucking down high concentration oxygen in large quantities, not a puff here and there from a bullshit metals can that you can carry around in your purse. And you might say, Scott, well, I've seen football players or soccer players or football players that are in fact soccer players, because that's what they call it in other parts of the world, using supplemental oxygen on the sidelines. Their coach, their trainer, whoever the fuck hooks off to a mask like this. It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. So why would professional athletes who get paid millions of dollars use this if it was bullshit? Well, that comes down to the placebo effect. You see, this isn't completely useless to your body in the sense that your mind can trick your body into thinking that this is helping you. Going back to those scientific studies I was talking about, which you can look up online, don't believe me, but they actually showed that the placebo effect was significant. In fact, in one study, half of the athletes that reported an improvement after taking supplemental oxygen were actually just sucking down pure room air through a mask like this. So that was, that was pure placebo effect, and that affected half of them. The other half that had actual O2 also reported a benefit, but again, same benefit as sucking down air, it's all placebo effect. And let me briefly tell you why. I don't want to get too scientific here, but you might have seen one of these online. This is a very cheap version of an actual medical device, sort of like this, except this is actually much more expensive than a real medical oxygen cylinder. This little thing right here measures SpO2. I don't want to get too ridiculous here. 
with science crap because that's not what this is about. This is just about talking bullshit. This measures the percentage of oxygen that your blood is carrying. In your blood, you have red blood cells. In those red blood cells is hemoglobin. You only have a certain number of red blood cells flowing through you at any given time. And each of those red blood cells can carry oxygen. Now, if 100% of those red blood cells have oxygen attached to them and they're whipping around your body, delivering that oxygen to your muscles and everywhere else, well, you can't put any more oxygen in your blood than what is attached to red blood cells. Now, a normal, healthy individual, like a professional athlete, will have a, an SpO2 reading of 100%, which means that their blood is carrying all the oxygen it possibly can. So by hooking them up to one of these, you're putting more oxygen into their lungs, but their body is not using it. It's just like when you drink too much water. Your body doesn't use the extra water, you just end up peeing it out. And if you suck down lots of extra oxygen with one of these, well, you just end up breathing out the oxygen that your body doesn't use. And if your O2 sats are already at 100%, then you're not gonna be using any extra oxygen, so you can just breathe room air, or outside air, or whatever the fuck air, and you'll be fine. So not only are you overpaying out the ass for the oxygen in this can, when you suck it down into your face, your body is not even using it. You're literally breathing it into your lungs and breathing it right back out. And that's a hell of a way to waste $10 at a, at a clip. The manufacturer claims that this is great for sports performance, hangover remedy, health and wellness, altitude sickness. I'm not gonna harp on it anymore. Actual doctors have said that sports performance, hangover remedy, health and wellness are bullshit for a healthy individual. They do not need supplemental oxygen. The only valid claim, in my opinion, for legal reasons, that this manufacturer makes is altitude sickness. Now, altitude sickness results from being in an oxygen deficient environment at an altitude. You know, if you're climbing Mount Everest, you will see, well, I guess you wouldn't be climbing Mount Everest, you're watching YouTube. But when someone's climbing Mount Everest, they would have supplemental oxygen with them. That's because at high altitudes, the concentration of oxygen in the air is well below the normal 21% that I'm breathing right now. In that case, yes, supplemental oxygen will help you. This kind. When this is on your face and hooked up to a can of oxygen flowing at about 12 liters per minute, you will get approximately 95% pure oxygen into your lungs in each breath. Now it has this little bag here so that if you're breathing more than this tube can deliver, you actually get that extra little bit of oxygen. And then when you breathe out, the air flows out of these one-way flappy valves and completely leaves and more oxygen comes in and you breathe that in and you're constantly breathing in 95% pure oxygen. With this, that's not the same at all. Because first of all, listen to this. How pathetic does that sound? It's hard to demonstrate in a video, but let's look at this piece of paper. You hear that? It's actually flowing, right? Now and the paper's barely moving. That's because they say that this is good for 150 breaths. Six liters divided by 150 breaths is like no fucking oxygen at all per breath. Whereas this is filling your lungs with oxygen. This is giving you a piddling amount. Now, not only are you barely getting any oxygen per breath, I can show you why. First of all, the flow rate sucks on this. But second of all, even if the flow rate was pretty good, this doesn't really seal on your face all that well. Like, you can actually still hear me talking pretty decently. That's because the sides here don't seal on my face. I mean, maybe if I had a different shaped face it would, but it's not flexible like this mask is. This conforms to your face. This does not. So most people will not get a good seal. That means I'm not even gonna press the trigger I can still take a nice, full, deep breath. And there's also some little cutouts in here so that even if your face is sealing onto here pretty well, more air is coming in up around this plastic part. And that's so that you can fill your lungs because there's not enough oxygen coming out of here to do so. So when you're sucking this down, 
I don't even know because I'm not a scientist, but you're getting a hell of a lot less oxygen per breath than this. So even if you believe that this does something to your favorite athlete, to medical patients, to whomever, <coughs> this will barely give you any oxygen. So really, what could it possibly do for you? People do give it good reviews online. They say this thing helped me a lot. I do use it after my workout and I'd feel refreshed and invigorated and ready for more. Shit like that. I'm not just calling those people liars. Yeah, some of them might be shills for the company, but a great many of them are probably just feeling the placebo effect. Another great many of them are probably working out, running around, doing their aerobics, whatever the hell they're doing. They're out of breath and then they pick this up and they go <sighs> and that slow calming breathing just that deep breathing that they're doing when they're using this product is probably actually helping them not because it's oxygen they could do that same breathing they could just do breathing exercises at the end of their workout and they'll probably feel better on their own because again Barely any oxygen comes out of here, and when it does, your body doesn't even need it. I mean, I, I just don't know what else to say about this. If you're not convinced by my rant here on YouTube, go read some articles by legitimate healthcare professionals and scientists on actual websites. There are unfortunately bullshit, bullshit, fucking bullshit articles out there commissioned and written by companies like Boost Oxygen LLC. Go with studies written by legitimate doctors that actually, you know, perform surgery and do real research. I don't know. That's all I have to say about this fucking thing.